Walter, on occasion, I can take a very stark position for those who do not believe in anything beyond the physical, as a physicalist, materialist, which I know you are, and say that any attempt that you have to imbue meaning in lives is a rationalization, uh, and that if I were to be a physicalist, uh, I, would, I would want to face the reality that there really is no meaning, and uh, I try to make the best that I can. Uh, am I thinking wrong here? I think physicalists can accommodate meaning, but of course it depends on what you mean by meaning. Uh, I won't you know, press you to specify that. I'll just say, when I think of what's meaningful in my life, uh, it's different from when I think of things that were meaningless in my life. Uh, some things that are meaningless were things like competitions, you know, where I thought, yeah, I did pretty well, but there were people who did better. And I think people who are always in competition with others and want to do better are going to look back on their lives and think, oh, you know, it wasn't so great. Of course, there might be one person who beat everybody else on a consistent basis, and they're going to think it's meaningful. But everybody else is going to think, yeah, I won a few games, but I lost right. a few games. The real meaningful things for me when I look back are cases where I've helped other people. Uh, or where I've tried to help other people, at least I tried, uh, or where I've cooperated with other people. But it's all about other people and getting meaning from other people. And if you come along and say, well, you're a physicalist, so you can't say that's meaningful, I'll say, gosh, it sure seems meaningful to me. Why would you think it's not? It's, it's temporary, and there's no ultimate um, uh, permanence that uh, if you just have a physical world, at some point it all disappears, uh, frozen, ripped apart, burned up in some sense. So meaning is, uh, is temporal and uh, evanescent. So I don't know why eternity becomes the standard. Why does something have to be eternal in order to be meaningful? Uh, it seems to me that things that last a long period of time can be very meaningful, even if it's not forever. So if I'm a doctor and I save someone a large amount of pain and frustration in the future by curing their illness, or maybe even I save their life, so now they're able to live for another 50 years. Sure, it's only 50 years, but it's 50 years. And 50 years is a long time, and they get to do a lot of things there, and they have a lot of pleasures, and they help a lot of people. And if you say, well, that's not meaningful because it's not eternal, I don't know why you think it has to be eternal in order to be meaningful. If you think that it has to be eternal to be meaningful, then nobody's marriage is meaningful. Nobody's career is meaningful. Nothing's meaningful. But that's not a physicalist standard. That's a standard that's imposed by non-physicalists, that in order to be meaningful, it's got to be eternal. Physicalists just give that up and say, the kind of meaning we have is helping other people. Sure, it's temporary, but that doesn't mean it's not meaningful. The meaningfulness that you are talking about, helping each other, uh, doing good, being happy, are, are these values uh, absolute? Are they built into the structure of reality, or are they, in a sense, accidents of the human condition, which are accidents of evolution? I mean, I think in a certain way they're accidents of uh, the human condition. If we had evolved the way bees evolve, then we would just kill the ones that aren't doing their job and treat each other in a very different way. Darwin said the same thing. Um, but given that we did evolve the way that we did, uh, then these things are meaningful to us. Whether something's meaningful to you has to depend on the way you evolved. Whether it's valuable is another thing, but whether it's meaningful to you has to depend on the kind of creature you evolved to be. And is there any correspondence uh, between that and some absolute standard in reality? Is there an, are there absolute values in reality to which some kind of meanings uh, 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 apply as antecedents, uh, whether it's the bees killing each other is to, to that the, the absolute good is, is, uh, is promoting the species, or in our case, uh, helping our fellow man. 
Uh, these are, each one is species related and evolution related, but are they both related to some bigger concept that's sitting out there someplace? So let me give you an example. Um, stealing uh, from someone else in order to get more money for yourself when you're already better off than that person by a lot, mm -hmm. okay? People who ran Enron took money from poor people in order to get another million when they already had a billion. Right. Uh, so is that bad? Well, if we had evolved in such a way that we didn't have money, we couldn't even have done that. So it's got to depend on evolution. Is it absolutely wrong? Well, that's going to depend on what you mean by absolute. If by absolute you mean regardless of the circumstances, then the answer is no, it's not absolutely wrong, because if there were no money, it wouldn't be wrong. But if by absolute you mean even if you think it's right, it's still wrong, it doesn't depend on what you think about it, then I want to say yes, in that sense, it's absolutely wrong. Uh, even if those Enron people thought, ah, those, those people that we're stealing from, they're a bunch of suckers, they deserve to have us take their money, I wouldn't think, well, they've got their point of view. I would think that point of view is really horrendous. In fact, they're wrong even though they don't think uh, that they're wrong and they don't think they're doing anything wrong. You're judging their, uh, their morality based on a, a relative human standard that, that is the absolute standard of our situation or some ultimate reality that, that, that exists independent of humans that says that you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't uh, take advantage of, 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 uh, of unfortunate people. I mean, I think it's really wrong, you know? Uh, I think when someone gets, to change the example, I think, you know, when somebody gets raped, it's really wrong. And if the rapist doesn't think it's wrong, they're just wrong about that. It is. Uh, but then, if somebody says, but is it really wrong in the sense that it's built into the fabric of the universe? Where is the wrongness of rape? Is it over there? Is it over there? No, it's not located in a physical, in this particular place, right? And so in that sense, it's not real in the way things other, other things are, but it's still real in the sense that it's independent of the views of the rapist. And it's independent of my views too. If I don't think it's wrong, but the victim does think it's wrong, then I'm going to be able to say, well, my, I'm incorrect and the victim's right. Uh, it's not dependent on my beliefs about whether it's right or wrong. And in that sense, it is absolute, but it's not absolute in the sense that it's a, a physical object located at a particular place. So looking at meaning in its broader sense, uh, you, you would say that it is related to the species, uh, but not, but not uh, uh, fixed in some ultimate reality. For meaning, yes. I mean, what people find meaningful in their lives uh, is going to depend on what values they have. Sometimes people are going to find things meaningful that I think are valueless. You know, if somebody wants to be able to write smaller than anyone else has ever written, you know, the people who try to write the Lord's Prayer on a on a penny. It's like, I don't see what's so great about that and why you would waste so much time doing it. But they find it meaningful. So I think meaning is, in that sense, relative to what they find meaningful. I'm not sure how else to ask that. Value might be different. Is it valuable? I'm going to ask, does it do anybody any good? Does it give them any pleasure? If they didn't do it, would they feel pain? Those are going to be different questions. But whether they find it meaningful, I don't know what sense I could make of that that wasn't relative to uh, their evolution and their views that they got through evolution.